Guys, get up. We need to finish the scene. Oh, oh, cut, cut. What's up, Dons? This is Max. This is Alexis. And welcome to the Don Show. It's time. Beat me up. Hey, viewers. Hey, viewers. Jacob down here for another episode of the Delmore Don Show with my buddies, buddies Octavia, JB, and Terrence. Oh, better signal them. Beep! Beat me up. What's up, Don? It's your girl T Dot here with my buds to show you all that's happening at Del Mar. Beep! <laughs> Beat me up. Yo, it's JV, and I'm here to help. This is the Del Mar Don Show. Breaking news the Del Mar Don Show is about to start. Oh, that's it. To the weather. Uh, thanks, Annie. Anyway, my iPhone app said it was 65 degrees five minutes ago, and now it's 80. The Del Mar Dawn Show is about to start, so enjoy. In case you haven't noticed, I hate my job. Hi, I'm Natsuka Wersenyev. I'm Isaiah Arcila. And I'm Thomas Bedarze. We are at the Del Mar Dance. Try not to talk too long. Because they say it's better we leave you before you leave us. You're right. You're right. All right, I'll go ahead and have a lamb souvlaki with a gyro pita, and on top hey. of that... you still filming? Yo, dude, they're still filming. I'm in the middle of ordering my Greek food. Hey, they're filming. I'm leaving a dog on Snapchat. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the show.
All right, so it looks like it's about 60, 70 percent according to my mathematical expertise. Whoa, that's so cool! Wait, how does this one work? Do you know this one? What do you think our country, the United States, would be like in 2045, the next time we have a solar eclipse? Because now I got our yes. board. Hmm. Um, I think people, I hope that our nation will be more into the STEM field so that like there will be more people watching the eclipse and thinking about the science behind it. Is this your first solar eclipse event? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's my first. Dude. Me too. What do you think the effects of the solar eclipse will have on the environment? Hmm. Well, hopefully the solar eclipse has gotten more people interested in science and what's happening in the universe. So hopefully it will make people more conscious of the environment and taking care of our planet. Hey, come here. You do. What are the effects if you look at the sun without the proper sunglasses during the eclipse? You could have your eyes permanently damaged. They will burn off. Ouch. What do you think our country, the United States, will be like in 2045? The next time we have a solar eclipse in the U.S. Um, I believe that there will be major changes and... I don't know, the society will be more different and... I, can't, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it will be like more advanced, better society and all that. Is this your full Earth solar eclipse event? Yes, it is. Alright. What do you think the effects of the solar eclipse will have on the environment? I don't think it'll have any uh, effect on it because it's just um, it's just like no sun for like a few seconds. So. Okay. What are the effects if you look at the sun without the proper sunglasses during the eclipse? What are the effects? Um, they're like, the effects are pretty harmful and you can go blind. Especially when you look through a telescope, it, it's basically magnifying all the sun, sun's rays into one focal point in your eye. So it'll basically melt your eye. Hard to say, considering the recent events, but I'd say we, I'd say we can, we can, if we can make it through till then, um, I'd say if we can make it through till then, uh, I'd say, I'd say we'd be pretty advanced c considering uh, against most nations. What do you mean that they're advanced by us? They're more advanced than us. Whatever, ever. Is this your first solar eclipse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, no, no one, no one here at this high school has been alive long enough, other than you know a few teachers. Uh, what do you think the effects of the solar eclipse will have on the environment? Uh, I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll do much. I mean, it'll probably screw up like the, the cycle of like the cows and how, and how they're uh, and how they're supposed to, you know, how their um, the milk cycle and all that. The and you know other and other things that are on a constant strict schedule. Uh, what are the effects if you look at the sun without the proper glass, sunglasses during the eclipse? For like a second, I think you'd be pretty good. But if you know, eventually, if you look if you look hard enough, you're gonna get a you're gonna get like a image stuck on your eye permanently and then eventually you do go blind in either one or both eyes. My name's Yadel. What do you think our country, the United States, will be like in 2045? And next time we have a solar eclipse in the U.S.? Um, I think the country is going to be very, very, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Very peaceful, loving. I feel like all the problems we have now are going to be resolved in 2045. And we're going to be focusing more on technology and advancing. That's what we're all hoping for. But some of us just like, like to mess up history. Yeah, that, that's true. What, is this your first solar eclipse event? Uh, yeah, I mean, as Miss Selena said, I wasn't born in the 1980s. What do you think the effects of the solar eclipse will have on the environment? Huh? 
What do you think in the effects of this solar eclipse is what happened on our environment? Uh, I think the environment's gonna stay the same. I mean, I don't really know too much about solar eclipse. But you could find awesome shots of trees from the sun, the reflection. Awesome. Now focus back on me, you feel me? Alright. <laughs> uh, I think your eyes are, are gonna hurt. So make sure to get them glasses. Where are the glasses at? Let me let me model you guys the glasses. Toss. <laughs> wow. That was great. <laughs> My quote is, it's not about the score, it's about how you play the game by a professional esports player, Bjergsen. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be a value by Albert Einstein. The difference between stupidity and genius is that genius has its limits, Albert Einstein. We can avoid reality, but we can't avoid the consequences of avoiding reality. Don't worry, be happy. Bobby McFermack. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage that counts. Winston Churchill. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination by Albert Einstein. Never say never, because limits like fears are often just an illusion by Michael Jordan. Live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever, from Gandhi. How glad am I to have something that saying goodbye is so difficult by Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> the only source of knowledge is experience, Albert Einstein. My quote is, be happy, by no yachty. <laughs> the quote that I admire is, I forgot it. You can restart. <laughs>
foot like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The hands can't hit what the eyes can't see. From Muhammad Ali. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too fears a voice created on earth? Robert Rodriguez. Me shooting 40% at the foul line is just God's way to say nobody's perfect by Shaquille O'Neal. Be who you are and say what you feel. Those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Dr. Seuss. We could complain because rose bushes have thorns, or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Abraham Lincoln. You're only given a little spark of madness. You mustn't lose it. Robin Williams. You miss 100% of the shot if you don't take Harley always. It's not about being who you were, it's about keeping who you were as a part of who you are now by Harry Styles. Welcome to the Del Mar Dawn no, no, no. We're saying goodbye, Partik. Oh, all right. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing fabulous. I'm doing great, Angel. I'm doing wonderful, y'all. To end things off, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Mountain Dew and Doritos. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Dabbing out. Perry, I challenge you to a gentleman's game of rock, paper, and scissors. I accept. Go, rock, paper, scissors. Yes, I won. See that? I rocked you. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Delmar Dawn Show. And I hope you tune in next time for more amazing content. And happy dawn of a day. Guys, we're shooting. We're live right now. No way. I'm up. Take two. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the Del Mar Dawn show. Tune in on Thursday at 7 30 and Sunday at 4 30. Have a great day. Hey, good night. Hey, are we still live? Hey, turn off, turn off.